Friends, welcome back to our channel Learn with Gigs. In this video, I have invited Pratik Pritam, who have recently cracked a job as a junior data analyst after 10 months of consistent hard work. His journey is really inspiring because he has actually done career transition from customer support to data analyst. So I believe many of you would relate with him and his journey. And I will discuss each and everything which helped him to achieve this success in this video. So do watch this video completely till the end as it will be very important to all the people who are freshers as well as people who want to do the career transition, who want to switch from some other domain to data analytics domain. So stay tuned till the end. Now let's start the video and before that if you're new to the channel then do subscribe the channel for more useful videos like this and also you can follow me on Instagram page Learn with Gigs for data analytics related content. And friends do congratulate him in the comment box as he really deserves the appreciation for the hard work that he has shown. And do hit the like button of this video as it will motivate me to create more useful videos like this. Hi Pratik, how are you? I am fine Sashank, how are you? I am also fine. Uh, so Pratik, uh, thank you so much for giving your time and coming on to this channel. So Pratik, I have already given a short introduction about you. So let's start with the first question. So can you tell the audience about your educational background? So basically I am from a mechanical engineering background. I have done my schooling from Kinder Vidyalaya Namrup, which is in Assam. And after that, I shifted to Guwahati, which is the capital of Assam for my uh, higher secondary education. And after that, I completed my graduation in mechanical engineering from Johar Engineering College, which is a state-owned engineering college in Assam. And I have completed my graduation, which is in mechanical engineering in 2022. So how did it all started? Like, can you explain your journey towards data analytics to men? So I, uh, after my graduation, I got a job from our campus placement, which was in Baijus. So I joined Baijus. Okay. So while I was working in Baijus, uh, it was kind of a content developer. So it was not a technical role, which I was working. Then when I uh, resigned from no bro uh, sorry, Baijus and joined no broker, then in the, I was assigned in the customer support role. And in that I had some chances of uh, like doing some uh, basic reporting in Excel with some basic formulas and after that uh, when I researched about it in detail I got to know that there is so much scope in this line specifically in in these years because it, the data domain is booming right now so I decided to completely switch my domain to data and I voluntarily resigned from no broker and I started upskilling myself with the relevant skills which are necessary in the market Okay, so what was the duration of Baijus and No Broker? For how long you worked there? So in Baijus, I worked there for nearly five months, and in No Broker, it is a complete six months. So I had the eleven years of, uh, sorry, eleven months of experience. I can say. So you were so determined, like uh, considering the market, uh, considering the competition in the market, you gave the resignation in No Broker, right? And then you just. Yeah. Yeah. You just sat and completely gave the time to prepare for data analytics roles, right? right. So you, it shows that you were confident that you will be able to crack it, right? So how you got that level of confidence? Because many people have this doubt that they are working in some company, they don't have, they are working in some non-relevant uh, domain, which is not related to data analytics, and they also want to do transition, right? But they have this assistance that they don't want to be, they don't, they won't be able to uh, switch their career because of the dependency on their company, right? So how you got that confidence level that, okay, I will resign and completely prepare for data analytics rules? Yes. So first of all, I would like to tell you that if you want to achieve something, you have to leave behind something. So I took that gamble on myself because I was confident that I am a quick learner. So I can learn. And if I give my 100%, definitely I can achieve what I want. So I voluntarily resigned and that was completely my decision. And I resigned from No Broker and I started upskilling myself without thinking about anything. I just dedicated my whole time, whole productive time to this upskilling and I got in this data domain. And I have slowly learned all the skills which are relevant. First of all, I started with Excel, then I switched to Advanced Excel, then I learned Power BI. After that, I learned SQL and along with it, I was practicing also all these skills which I have learned. And uh, first of all, the most important thing is you have to practice your skills. Uh, the, like only learning is not going to be enough. If you learn, you have to practice it regularly. Then you will get that confidence to sit in an interview. And like that also I followed and I used to practice SQL, Power BI and uh, Excel on a regular basis, like two or three queries or some dashboard, some uh, like uh, concepts in Power BI that used to 
give me confidence in the interview which i will be facing and i create that interview also. so that is the main mantra we can say we have to practice there is no other option that's a very valid point so it's a good learning for the audience that will be watching this video and also uh, just to just to ask like uh, what was the resigning month in 2023 um uh, resigning month was august so w- what resources you used to learn and practice these skills yeah first of all i searched for some free videos in youtube so i got many resources and i got confused which one is good and which one is not good like which will be relevant for me which is will be not relevant for me so i was like one month i was researching on the resources from which i can learn all these skills so initially i took a course from udemy like there is a power bi course in udemy provided by the founders of maven analytics so i did that course but uh, it didn't give me confidence so much like i learned that thing but it didn't provide me that confidence which i was looking for then uh, in the month of uh, february or march i can say in 2024 i came across that code basics data analytics bootcamp through one of my connections in linkedin so i saw there is an opportunity in this course because they are providing all their skills so i purchased that course and i started learning from that blindly i was following the code basics channel what they were instructing how they were instructing us what to do so i was blindly focused on code basics bootcamp which i started in march uh, 2024 and by the th- by the uh, may first week i have completed that course because i had nothing to do and like i was totally uh, following this transition and i was practicing and learning this yeah. okay so from like what are projects you were building in the specifically for talk about sql and power bi i did guided projects one for each of the skill and after that all the projects were unguided perfect that is a very good point for the audience watching this because if you will practice more unguided projects it will be a more challenging thing to do but ultimately it will increase your knowledge it will increase your confidence so focus on more unguided projects okay uh, pratik uh, can you share your screen and, and walk us through your resume which actually helped you to get through the interview call and finally you crack the company sure sure let me share my screen yeah so sang so this is my resume so first of all i provided my name and my basic contact details after that i provided here some links for my portfolio linkedin profile github repository and dashboard which i have created so uh, then i provided only my graduation educational details because 10 and 12th are not relevant as of now then uh, i put work experience i have put it my uh, no broker experience because i used to like in the uh, last some months in my no broker i used to do some reporting and all in the excel so i put that, that thing in my work experience and after i have learned i have done one online internship in through i got this internship through linkedin itself which is a company called decoder board so they used to provide me four data sets and i have to make one dash dashboards and powerpoint presentation on that what was the duration so, of this of uh, this uh, virtual internship it was uh, one month i have completed within 29 or 30 days okay so i have i had to make four powerpoint presentations along with four dashboards and i need to present my insights so here i provided the links also for my projects which i have done uh, in uh, decoder board then after that i have focused on my technical skills which i am confident in so in visualization tool i was uh, confident in X- advanced excel then power bi then in languages i know sql and uh, python then in cloud bases i have cloud and databases i have added mysql oracle snowflake i know the, i just know the basics then ssis which is a sql server integration server that i also know this is management studio that i also know azure i have basic idea and sap i have basic idea so the, i have put all the uh, like things which i know and which i have the basic idea of then so even if you have then, like even if you have not worked practically on any of the skills still you can yeah. put it if you have some basic knowledge and that's a very good idea for all the freshers yeah. watching this video that you can also write few skills even if you have not worked on it practically so that your resume gets strong so that your resume has those relevant keywords right exactly exactly so in interview itself i was asked about all this so i honestly honestly told them that i know the basics of this so you can be honest in the interview then coming to my projects 
this project is uh, this project is basically on python uh, i have done in jupyter notebook that is kind of a exploratory data analysis so i have provided the link and my presentation both link i have provided so can any hiring manager who comes they can show my soft skill as well as my uh, hard skills also hard coding skill then i have provided one sql project which is a pizza sales analysis like it is a uh, analysis of a restaurant then i have provided one excel report which i prepared that this is the, this is a guided project from code basics data analytics bootcamp and this one is a end to end the power bi dashboard creation which is again a guided project uh, from the data analytics bootcamp just want to add one point over here like many of you who will be watching this video will assume that this is a promotional video for code basics it's not since he has actually done the things that's what he is telling to you and if you want the link of that bootcamp which he is which he is talking about here i will provide in the description box of this video you can check it out later so coming to my certifications part i was looking for some practice which i can do then i came across this uh, free like project kind of a thing uh, from accenture that is a free project you can do for your practice so i provided i have done that and i have provided the link also then i got one letter of recommendation by dipodabot where i done one internship for one month then i have like i have also done one certification course on product management so i provided the link and uh, in no broker i was uh, not not no broker in byjos one for the december 2022 i was nominated for the overall profile so i have just put it all the relevant skills and the all the relevant things which are needed to be added in my resume and i have and i also I added to, i want to add over here like this is a perfect resume for all the people who want to do the career transition so this resume is a perfect and the strategic way of putting the things so that it becomes relevant in the market and you your chances of getting the interview call increases increases that's the way pratik has mentioned over here so you can take reference from his resume and also try to create resume something like this which will be helpful in your transition itself or if you are looking out for job as a fresher this will be again helpful for you so along with this resume i have prepared one strong portfolio for myself so i want to uh, go, uh, go through the portfolio as well so this is my portfolio first of all here a great uh, like greetings over here then i have one intro video for myself if you can click then you can see a intro video for myself then after that if you scroll down there is a basic summary of how many projects i have done so there is two excel projects two power bi projects two one sql project and one python project after okay. that it comes out it comes for a brief summary about myself so i have just added one one paragraph of my skills and what i am expertise in and i have added my skills also so that hiring manager can get a overview of me really quick then after that uh, these are the projects which i have added in my portfolio this is this is a excel project this is a sql project power bi this is one excel power bi and sql so if you come over here then you can go through my project in detail you can see my project engagement you can see my project on github then um, uh, these are just two snippets of my project dashboards and this is a uh, presentation because along with the technical skills you have to have soft skills also so i worked on my soft skills also and i presented my like presented my project so that i can uh, like i am presenting to a stakeholder and after that the all the certifications which i have done i have added this so you can add n number of certifications over here so i have only put it the relevant certifications which i have done so if you are a fresher you should understand what level of hard work you have to do to achieve your success in this particular domain you see you should have a project portfolio you should have a video presentation of the projects you have to be smart enough to understand that what is required in the market you have you need to have a proof of work whatever you are learning and for that only your project portfolio should be there it must be there there is no uh, other option you have to create it so if you are a fresher you should understand what all things is required in the market just by learning the skills creating profile on okri.com and linkedin will not help you to get the job so be smart and do the consistent smart hard work to get the job and along with it i worked on my linkedin profile also so i want to uh, go through the linkedin profile as well so this is my linkedin profile so here i have added one like catchy banner so that any hiring manager which will come to my profile they can immediately get a visually appealing uh, profile so i have added one catchy uh, banner then i have provided a professional photo 
of more like profile photo for my account. Then I have just added here uh, the featured items like I have my portfolio over here. Then I have my Power BI projects over here, dashboards, then all the and GitHub link also. After that, I used to post almost regularly on LinkedIn. So you can see all of my posts over here. So I have done like so much of posting as of now. Then after that, I have ex provided all the experience which I had. And I have also mentioned here career transition because I want to be honest to myself and to others as well. So I put it one career transition also so that people can get a brief idea about me, what I was going through and how I have achieved this. So Perfect. this is a LinkedIn profile which I find to be good. And I have uh, like uh, worked on this LinkedIn uh, profile it took me time but eventually i made my linkedin profile optimized so that i can yeah that is also very important point to optimize your linkedin profile because if you will optimize it if any recruiter will come to your profile they will it will increase your chances of getting the interview call right because you have it optimized you have it very engaging and interactive just the way prati has created so Pratik, what all platforms you utilized for job searching so first of all i used to apply through linkedin then I had one profile in Nokri also, but I didn't got much call from Nokri. And I want use another platform, which is Glassdoor, that free Glassdoor platform. So I got five or six calls from Glassdoor, but it didn't got converted to the technical interview. And the like company which I'm working for, that opportunity I got through LinkedIn itself because I applied through LinkedIn and I got the call. So that means there are limited calls for the freshers but calls are coming if you have optimized your knockery linkedin profile as well as your resume right so that is also a very important point so you have to work on your resume you have to work on your different profiles and then only you you will increase your chances of getting the interview call so on what skills you got interviewed in the company which in which you are currently working right now so initially i was uh, interviewed on sql like all the concepts which are basics of sql like joins then dance function row function row number then some stored procedure procedures also then all the basics of SQL. Then after that, I was uh, given to write a code on Python, the basic one code. Then I was asked about the different libraries which we use for data analysis in Python. Then after that, I was. So what level of on... what level of questions are asked in Python? So if you know the basics of Python, like list, tuple, dictionary, and about the uh, libraries which you use like numpy and pandas you can crack that inter uh, python part in the interview so in the interview uh, excel uh, sorry sql power bi and python were targeted and basic to intermediate level of questions were asked as you said if i talk about the salary part so can a fresher or a person who is transitioning can get a salary greater than 4 lakhs per annum in india right now in the current market situation yeah you can definitely get um, uh, you can definitely get a salary more than for LPA, it is not an issue because uh, it will be based on your skills and how you are communicating with the interviewer. Okay, perfect. So uh, I think uh, you have explained all the things very well and I think people will get a lot of insights from this video. So thank you so much Pratik for coming and sharing your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you Shashank. <laughs>